Hi again. Okay, so my last few videos I've been kind of just bantering about myself and my story of um, being who I am. But anyway, I've got some fun stuff happening this year. There's a, well, where I live is Perth, Western Australia, and that's kind of yeah, isolated. Um, it's a capital city, but we don't get much in the way of big events and things. However, there is three conventions, big conventions, that actually come this way every year. One just started this year, and it's an anime convention. It was kind of small, but still, it was really good to go see that one. The second one was Oz Comic Con. I've never been to one yet. However, and the reason why I'm probably smiling so much is Supernova is coming around and it used to be known as a pop culture expo but they changed that part of it to encompass comics as well um, I'm still not sure what they're called but I'll probably just flash it on the bottom of the screen as soon as I find out after making this video now I've been going to Supernova for a few years now and the last three years I want to say I've been going in cosplay, so the first year that I went as cosplay was Miss Stitched from America McGee's Alice um, Madness Returns, and it was a costume that I bought offline from a retailer. It didn't fit too well, I had to make a lot of alterations, plus the fact it was more comical than it was close to the actual game. The next year I found somebody else on Etsy who could make a um, costume from Ruby, which is a Rooster Teeth production, animated production, and so I chose the school uniform that they had in Ruby. The only alteration I had to make was to the skirt because I kind of lost weight from when I purchased it to when I actually got to wear it. So that was like, yay, fantastic! So, last year I actually went as Sailor Pluto, a costume that I completely made myself. Yes, it had a few mistakes in it because I was learning to sew at the time, and I may have, may not have made the skirt just a little bit short at the back, so I really apologise to any small children that may have seen me last year. And I did spend the, well, two days of last year's convention walking around in stiletto heeled boots. I don't know how Pluto does it. My god, those things hurt. So, this year, I decided to design my own steampunk vari variation of Sailor Pluto. And I've already started getting pieces together for it. For example, where did I put them? I made gloves. <laughs> so I've made fingerless black, well, black lace, off-white lace gloves so that I can um, wear these instead of the traditional long gloves that they, the Sailor Scouts wear. I also have purchased, and they arrived today, and I'm very, 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 very excited to say that they fit. So I was completely blown away by that fact. I was kind of hoping they would fit and I wouldn't have to return them, but I've still got time if they didn't fit. Boots, but with a chunky heel. This time, I'm walking around in comfort. And because it's a steampunk theme, I got them lace up on the front. Okay, it's a zip on the side, but anyway. And it's all vegan stretch leather, so it is comfy. I've already tried them on. Oh, so good. <laughs> now, the boots themselves are from a company called Phantasma, if I pronounced that correctly. I hope I did. They are gorgeous. They have all sorts of other styles on their website and everything. Um, I, if I am thinking correctly, they're also... Phantasma is... Uh, one of those subsidiary type things. There's a company called Pleaser in America that make um, fantasy styled footwear for nightclub activities, I think. Don't call me on that one. 
but these ones I got them from a website called Shoe Me Gorgeous. Yeah, it's actually called Shoe Me Gorgeous or shoeme.com.au. Um, all I can say about that is great service, and these things are just perfect. And when I opened up the box, there was all these little heart-shaped glittery, uh, sort of like scatter thingies in there. And the box was beautifully wrapped. Well, okay, it was white butcher's paper. But anyway, it was still wrapped up to keep it nice and clean. And it was in a postage bag, which kept it all perfectly safe and everything. And it arrived within a few days of them delivering it, uh, saying that it's been shipped. And normally, Perth everything costs a lot of money to ship over so I was pleasantly surprised to see that the shipping cost for this wasn't that much and that was for the express shipping so I got them within a few days of um, them actually saying that it's on the way and I was like yes so kind of very excited right now anyway the other thing that I ordered I had no idea what um, I can know those machines that you find in shopping malls that you put a coin in and they're full of those plastic bubble thingies with the toy inside that you turn the handle and these drop out? Well, I kind of went to another website or an app on my phone called AliExpress and they had all sorts of Sailor Moon stuff available. So if you haven't guessed by now, yes, I'm a Sailor Moon fan. And one of the things that they had available was the Sailor Pluto Transformation Wand. But it was one of those ones that you get in the bubble, the plastic bubble and the vending machines in the shop. The only catch is it's not in a vending machine, it's not in a shop, and they already know what you're getting. Because normally it's one of those potluck things. So... This is the plastic container that would drop out of the machine. How much it costs? Let's just say it cost me around about $20 or what with postage and everything. However, not complaining. <laughs> if I can get it open. Little bits. What do you get? Uh, instructions putting it together. No, I can't read that. Don't know what that says. Ooh. Definitely don't know what all that says. Ah. It looks like it's got a lipstick thingy inside. No, <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> and I can't read it anyway. However, my phone can. Except that I'm currently using my phone to record this. Where's my knife? I have a knife. Ah. It comes in a plastic bag, so it's kind of like, uh, mm, yeah. Hopefully I don't cut myself. Oh, maybe I should have got the sharp knife. Da, da, da. Oops. I almost cut myself. So we have. Ooh, pretty. The centerpiece. Don't know if you can see that or not, but it's got the Sailor Pluto logo on it, mirror, and everything. Ah! <laughs> it is lipstick! <laughs> so, the base. The angle it right, and I'm assuming that this if I get it right, oh, there we go. See the Pluto transformation wand, <laughs> and this is the bit you could not see in the advert, or I don't think they mentioned it. But it's lipstick. Or it's fake lipstick, I don't know. Yep, 
Like, unless it's really bad lipstick. Anyway, it's cute. And that just slides into the base. So that cost me $20. And it comes with, if I didn't drop it, and I dropped it. with a display base which I think is really cool because I can add this to my collection now well 20 bucks that's not too bad I think it's cute and it might be able to use it with my cosplay anyway <laughs> then again I can translate all the stuff written on there so I can hopefully, if I do the editing properly, show you an example of what my cosplay will look like. Uh, it may change between now and end of June when the actual convention is, but those boots are definite. Oh my god, they're so comfy! I love them already! <laughs> Thank you for watching, and if you like the video, don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Thank you again.